that when my servant when my servant remembers me allah taala states that when my servant so first allah mentions fa idha dhakran when my servant remembers me allah says does my dhikr then allah says fa inna dhakran this is very important hadith so listen carefully so important that in different hadith in different kitabs this has been narrated in sahih bukhari sahih muslim tirmidhi ahmad nisa'i this hadith is in all these kitabs so you can now imagine understand its importance that how important this hadith will be hadith means that how important this subject will be for us we have to understand the holy prophet the prophet of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is telling us that when the servant of allah the human being when he remembers allah fa idha dhakarani fa in dhakarani then due to his remembering allah immediately he gets the answer allah taala what does he do allah gives the answer my servant you have remembered me so i am now with you allah says i am with you subhanallah think of the reward Okay now who is the servant who is the servant It's pure clean muttaqi pray salah pious no condition you have to be that no that you have to be free from sin you have to be haji and you do pious actions don't the, look at the great reward that's been given who is the servant a normal person sinful person doesn't pray salah he's an adulterer thief he's dirty impure he's a waste of space it could be yeah you could say the person in the lowest level in society and if he does this action what action fa idha dhakarani that he sits down and starts to remember allah do dhikr of allah that person imagine imagine so this is such a great action that allah taala likes is so beloved to allah that while the person does dhikr it doesn't matter what kind of person he is human being subhanallah doesn't matter what he is the brother sister woman man if they are paying attention and do dhikr allah then allah says the first reward i give to you for in dhakrani is allah says i'm with you now i'm with you now so allah is with everyone but why is allah saying hey, no it's not that normal being with people it's a special select qurb attachment that is established now with you not common qurb not normal closeness special unique closeness why because allah says you've remembered me then further allah says give, gives the stages of his qurb of his nearness of his love of his closeness allah says then that if that person who remembered me and then if now after remembering me there's a connection now with me established he's remembered me i'm with that person most definitely a change comes in that person in that man woman their emotions change he was in bad condition negative some noor light comes in when the lies with that person obviously allah's given the reward isn't it so there'll be an effect so his emotions change his condition changes his character improves allah says if the servant then one hand span he comes towards me one hand span so now the condition change what did he do first first he remembered allah now what's he doing he's going one hand span towards allah he's paying attention to allah so from the dhikr after that comes the tawajjud the attention now before he was nothing then he remembered allah now his attention do you understand what i'm saying so first step was he sat down he remembered allah the next step is that allah is now with him so now during his dhikr his situation evolves so now his attention and focus is towards allah he's thinking about allah so there's a difference in his dhikr now next step yeah he starts paying attention to allah thinking about allah his emotion of dhikr evolves and when he then Uh, goes one hand span allah's just given us a measurement that he's coming a bit further allah's given a measure then allah says his one hand span he's moved what do i do then allah says is that due to him coming forward a little bit first he came to, uh, and i joined with him allah says now allah says then one hand span i'll come towards him as well so first if he comes towards me as my new amount allah says i'll come towards him a hand amount just by doing dhikrullah so this was a normal person normal person 
all of the awliya Allah, the friends of Allah, became through this method. And all the madaris you see, all of the levels of Allah's qurb, they start with the dhikr of Allah. It draws nearer to Allah. So, there's a big message here for us. Big message for us that the servant, the human being, shouldn't go backwards after doing dhikr. Shouldn't step back. Rather, he should step forward. He should extend. He should strengthen. By doing a U-turn, there's a big loss. Because now, you've made a connection with Allah. You've made a connection. And it's a great connection based on love and muhabbat. So now you should extend that and go further. Obviously, tests come. Remembers me like in the morning you see what's the condition in the morning when a person sits for dhikr in the morning after salah, fajr, I give him reward of one hajj and one umrah. And then there are many rewards I give for that, Allah says. And we don't see that. We can't feel that physically. We can't feel that. Can you feel it? Can you see it? But definitely his belief tells him that believer that I have attained this reward. Because he has so much yaqeen and belief otherwise he'd not practice anything, would he? The person. Yes? So for example, oh I'm getting this and that. So that's our style. Oh I'm not getting anything. You go to someone, you work for him and he gives you wages immediately. Pays you salary. And you're happy. Oh, if I work, then I'll get paid the salary, the wages. You'll be happy, isn't it? Yes? And if you work in another way and you know that after that you'll get some money, immediately you get paid the salary. This is not the connection with Allah here. Allah Ta'ala says in advance, that you will have to believe on what I'm saying to you, whether you feel it or not, see it or not, is it whether you see it or not, but you should have so much belief in me, Allah says, that everything that's happening, you are getting this from Allah. Allah has given it to you. So when this belief strengthens, then you will never step back, because you know from dhikr Allah, that I am drawing nearer to Allah, drawing nearer to Allah, then he starts pulling himself towards Allah, nearer to Allah. Then, in the hadith, so look at the emotions. This normal person, while he's just moving along where he has reached to. So Allah says, then I come towards him, two handsmen. Then what happens to that servant? Allah says, then that servant,